Welcome everybody to the highly anticipated Stellaris by Paradox. Over the course of the channel's lifespan, I have gotten plenty of requests from you guys to either play Crusader Kings 2, play Europa Universalis 4, play number 3, play Victoria 2 Falcon, just play a goddamn Paradox game already. And every single time I've said no because my brain is really far too small to really comprehend what's happening on screen, every time I look at those games, I just get overwhelmed. However, I decided to really buckle down with Stellaris and say, you know what? I gotta give this a try. So Paradox was kind enough to send me a copy early. I will. This video should be coming out on the 5th. The game is coming out for everybody else on the 9th. So just a bit of a heads up. I will be covering Stellaris up until the release date and maybe beyond that as well. We'll see how it goes depending on your support in the series itself. But I decided to really buckle down with Stellaris over the weekend and really learn it. You know, just really take it all in. And I really think that the Master of Orion series I did kind of help me out a little bit. Although when we go from Master of Orion, the rebooted series, to Stellaris... It's kind of like going from the minors over to the big leagues here. No offense to Master of Orion, but Stellaris is kind of like, you know, put your big boy pants on, you're here to fucking really play. So, with all that said and done, let's get into the Stellaris here as soon as possible. Let's go into New Game because I'm really excited to really check it out. And also, I don't want to forget what I learned over the weekend here because my brain really tends to forget stuff really often. So, the faster we get into this, probably the better. Now... Originally, you have like a lot of different classes to start off with. You could actually customize your own class over here. We have the Mammalians, which are the more human-like individuals. We have some Reptilians. We have the Avians as well, which is kind of like what I was actually aiming to go for. And it kind of is what we're going to be going for. We also have the Andropods as well. We have the... What are you guys? Molluscald. Oh my god, you're like a, a Cthulhu-type monster, aren't you? We also have the Fungoids, and we have some more different Mammalians over here, kind of like the furry-looking creatures of the pack. But, we're going to be going with the Avian variety. I was going to go ahead and pick the default class, but I decided to kind of customize it a little bit, because you can actually customize the way they look. So you'll have like different type of human or mammal-looking species to choose from, different type of reptilians, etc., etc. You could go ahead and change their divine mandates, your laws... Your starting weapons, your ships, etc, etc. It's a really big complicated process which is really neat about the game. It gives you a lot of um, chance to edit races. So, I went ahead and I created a avian race of our own over here for this playthrough. We have the Kingdom of Falconia, because why not? So, for the game details, I'm going to go with, I guess, a medium-sized galaxy. Because, you know, even though I know what I'm doing, I'm still not well-versed in the game. Like, I'm not a fucking veteran over here. So, I think medium sounds relatively decent for me. I normally go with elliptical, but this time around, I'm going to do spiral two arms just to kind of switch up the galaxy shape as well. For the AI empires, this will kind of control how many empires you're going up against. So you either want to control them through military force, uh, make alliances with them, etc., etc. You know when it comes down to the 4X titles, especially when it comes to uh, Paradox games. So 17 sounds like a lot of empires for me to deal with, but you know what? It's the default number, so let's go with it. Now, when it comes to advanced AI starts, I will go with zero. What this means is that we're going to have an even playing field. All 17 empires and myself, all even. Nobody gets a little extra advanced turn, none of that bullshit. Uh, difficulty will go with normal, sure, because again, I mentioned I'm not really too proficient at it, but you know, I hope to learn, get better at it, and if we can do something different down the line, we can do even a hard run with something a bit more different as well. Um, for the FDL method, we will do any. You can choose this over to wormholes, hyperdrive, or warps. But I think any just kind of gives you more of a chance to kind of do whatever the hell you want. And in terms of iron mode, it doesn't really matter, I guess. But sure, we'll turn it on. And let's get to go. Alrighty guys, let me give you a better look at our species over here. So we have the Kingdom of Falconia, the ruler is going to be Yerik, who is apparently 30 years old, skill 4 stars, and he's going to be Investor and Fertility Preacher as well. Species is a Falcon kind, FTL method that we prefer is hyperspace travel, but it did enable all of them, so it's not really a big deal. Our capital will be Yondrum as well, here is our government type. Now, in terms of our ethics, we are going to be doing the fanatic militaries that we talked about, and also the materialists as well, which is going to be for more physics, society, and engineering output up here. In terms of our traits, we have the solitary one. We also have industrious for 15% metal, or minerals, I should say. Rapid breeder, so we actually, you know, repopulate faster, if you know what I'm saying, baby. <laughs> and we also have the continental preference, so that's going to be where we prefer to kind of make our lands at. So... We're going to be looking for any sort of uh, planet that has a continental type of look to it as well. So, as you can see, 80% for that one. Tropical will be 60, ocean will be 60, desert 20, and arctic 20% as well. You will uh, forgive me as well if I had to kind of stop an occasion to clear my throat. I'm 
feel like I'm coming down with something right now, so it's, I hope it doesn't really affect my commentary here too much. Let's see. In the aeon since the first primitive falcon communities took shape of the grassy savannas of Yordorim, our civilization has spread and prospered. As scientific knowledge increased and new outposts were founded across our world, trade flourished and fled the various nation-states together until they became a single entity. Power rested with the merchant princes and the true architects of our achievements as a civilization. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane Network, the finest minds of the Kingdom of Falconia have finished development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Let's go ahead and begin. Alrighty, so I do... I'm going to leave this as full tutorial for now. I have gone ahead and I shut down the the advisor's voice, so he's not going to be bothering us here on occasion. I'm going to leave this on for the benefit of anybody who kind of wants to learn the basics as we go along over here, but I do kind of know what I'm doing, but this will be there in case you want to read something on the side. Meanwhile, I'm doing some maneuvers aside over here, so we'll go into full tutorial. Um, you don't have to worry too much about it. It's not going to really bother us, so um, excellent decision. Good to know. Alrighty. So the first thing we want to do is actually survey our entire system here, because now that we have access to doing so, we want to see what's available around our little startup point here in the Beyond system. Beyond. Can I rename this? Oh, I can. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, the Beyonce system. Why not? Situation log updated. Cool. Alrighty, so <laughs> here we are. Fuck the Beyond system. This is the Beyonce system. Um, so we have the planet over here. This is going to be our capital. Yonderim. Um, let's see. Let me look at my surface. Over here on the surface, you will be able to see what you can build over time. So at the moment, our capital is right over here. This is the capital. The capital itself will give you bonuses to any sort of adjacent tile, which you'll be able to either move people to work on these tiles or build something, etc., etc. The ones with the little tile blockers, you will have to uncover over time. Some require skills. Or research some do not these right here I don't believe require them but as you can see it, it costs 120 over time to actually uncover it so you can't just immediately uncover it it's gonna be like a over the time process and whatnot so right now we have this guy over here working on his own I'm gonna say we built something here and here to benefit these guys so with the one down here I could easily tell you we need to get a, a hydroponic farm and the reason is because this land is fertile for one food so if we go ahead and build a hydroponic farm over here. It's gonna cost us 60 minerals. We're at 200 right now, so we're gonna start using stuff instantly. But by building a hydroponic farm, we'll get two more food from the farm itself, and we also keep the pre-existing bonus of the land right there. So we'll get three food in general. If I was to build, like, say, a mineral refinery over here, that would cancel out the food um, intake. So we would get zero food, but we'd get the mineral from the building itself. I'm gonna try to explain this here a little bit as we go along, and hopefully, you kind of keep up. Uh, I won't spend too much time explaining stuff, but just giving you the basics over here. And then for this guy over here, we have a choice of either minerals or food. As much as I want to kind of produce my, or get my population up, I'm going to say we go for a minerals one over here, because minerals early on is really, really important. So we'll go ahead and do the mining network over here. As you can see, that's going to cancel out the food, but that's, you know, to be expected. So, yeah. Alright, cool. Everything else looks pretty good here. Pretty decent start. Let's go into our research. Before we start moving, we need to get some research happening over here. We have three scientists. We have the Wings of Ebony, the Beak of Maroon, and the Feathers of Burgundy. When you select your own races, there's going to be like three different species from every single big major race that you can choose from. And all of these species will have like different type of names. I went with the one that gives you like these really weird like um, <laughs> Native American names like the Wings of Ebony, the Beak of Maroon. And you can also customize these yourself and add like custom names and whatever, which is actually pretty neat. But I went with the default Native American variety, which sounds really awesome to me. So let's see. Let's go ahead and get the research up and running. I'll tell you this much. The first thing we're looking for is going to be the one to get a capital or a colony ship up and running so we can start like colonizing different planets soon. But for now, this is going to be kind of random. At the moment, we have administrative AI, faster research, which isn't really too bad. We also have unlocking the global energy management. Okay. And some physics lab as well, which is going to produce two, one, and a one in terms of our research and physics, etc. over time. The, ha the power hub would be for three credits. It's going to be like kind of like our cash in the game in a sense. Let me do the research speed. I like that a lot. Now, for the Beak of Maroon, you're going to go ahead and get... Here we go. New World's Protocol. The colony ship. And for the Feathers of Burgundy, you're going to start researching... Yeah, ba -ba 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 -ba. Some armor would be nice for our chips in case we get involved with some sort of, like, you know, military issues. And believe me, we're going to be kind of really militaristic in nature. So I don't think it's a bad idea to have that. 
This is actually going to reveal the source, the Batherian Stone, if we have a power plant for it, huh? And this actually does produce six credits over time, which is actually kind of high. But let me go for the nano composite armor. Plating, yeah, it's going to be for our ships. Absolutely. So let's pick that one up as well. And this will be done in 71 months, 71 and 48 months. Okay. Now, uh, there's a lot of stuff I want to do before we actually get underway over here. Actually, you know what we can do? Um, let's have the sign ship over here. No, no, go away. Sign ship. Just go away. Okay, the sign ship's going to be the one surveying the entire galaxy for you and finding anomalies and things of that nature. Since we already have one ready for to go, I'm going to have this sign ship over here. We'll zoom in on him right here, as you can see. Yeah. Avian variety. You, my friend, are going to go ahead and survey the entire system that we live in. I want to see what's around us. So, I'll just select you, and we'll do survey system. As you can see, it'll plot a course for all the little systems in our little galaxy area right here. And it'll go ahead on its own. So, let's unpause. He will run off and start doing his thing. You can also lock onto him if you want to, and just kind of plot his course. Pretty neat. You could also go faster. We'll start going faster pretty soon, but right now I want to set up my groundwork. So meanwhile, he's doing this thing over here. Let's, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go away, Mr. Robot Man. I know what I'm doing right now. He'll go ahead and start doing his thing. Now, construction ship. If we could find a really decent little mineral planet over here, or maybe even resource, we'll have our construction ship go over there and start, you know, building some mining stations for us. And already we found an anomaly. That was actually really fast. Go away. Okay, so right now we have, let's see, let's pause momentarily if we can. Uh, during the survey of our home system, we found something on Rookie that did not match earlier observations made from our home world. Luckily for us, this is a failure risk of 0%, so there's really no reason not to not, you know, research it, so we will. That'll stop whatever my surveyor is doing at the time. He'll basically come back and start researching the anomaly. And these anomalies will essentially work to unlock different um, quest chains down the line. And also just give you different upgrades over the course of the game as well. So as you can see, he's turning around. He's going to start searching an anomaly. Uh, meanwhile, this happens. Let's see if... Um, construction ship, we still can't use you for now. What I could do is, since we have a couple of extra points of influence, we have a naval fleet over here with no leader if I'm correct yeah you can see no leader over here for our first first murder <laughs> that's what you're calling him oh my god yeah I guess we have to be a military dictatorship now when we're fucking called the first murder fleet so for that one we need an admiral we're gonna be using some influence points for that right now we have three guys available we have admiral claws of khaki who's aggressive fire rate 20% really good for a, a fleet I would say we have Admiral Wings of Lavender, which gives you the scout 25% range. Not too bad. And Claws of Ebony. Oh, that's the anomaly. Okay. Um, one second. Go away. And over here we have a Trickster. Evasion 10% and Emergency FTL damage negative 25. That's interesting. I've never seen that one before. I like Claws of Khaki, though, because of the firing rates. So I'm going to recruit him. And you are going to be now the leader of the first murder. So, Claws of Khaki, Aggressive Nature, First Murder Fleet... You guys are in for some serious shit down the line. Now let's see what, ha what happened over here with a little research. This is the anomaly, by the way, I'm pretty sure. The anomaly we detected on Rookie unveils something astonishing. The planet is surrounded by a trail, undoubtedly produced by FTL engines. We are unable to trace it to its origin due to it being generated long ago. We should continue to investigate these sorts of anomalies whenever we get the chance. It will most assuredly grant us knowledge and technology. We've been watched, but why? Oh, okay. Get, get out of here, advisor. I know I got it, dude. I'm going to turn you off if you don't stop it right now. I'm telling you right now. So, Anomaly's been researched. Let me look at my... Let's see, where's that at here? The situation log. This gives you an idea of what you should be focusing on in case you're a bit lost. So, at the moment, we're doing a surveying home system, which is going to be what our ship is doing down here. Technology research is going to be the New World's Protocol, which is going to unlock the colony ship for us. And we're already working on that over here with the beak of Maroon, I'm pretty sure. Um. So, hey... Contact report remnants. The kingdom of Falconia is a buzz with news of the alien remnants studied by the YRS Soar. That's going to be our science ship if I'm right. Yeah. So people got word of the little remnants that we found over here. So they're getting a little bit excited about, oh, we're not alone out there. Uh, these leavings are considered definite proof of intelligent, purposeful, uh, purposeful alien activity at some point in the past. We may still be alone now, but we are at least not the first to be so. All right, cool. Um, let's see. Have we found anything of interest? Not yet? No. 
So let's go ahead and go into like a bit faster speed because I want to be able to research or at least find something in a land over here to probably start getting some research done or maybe some mineral finding as well. Okay, over here we could come over to the Class M star to actually start getting some more energy credits, so we will do that. So construction ship, hey, stop it. Dude, I was about to do the mining station. Don't tell me about that. I got it. Telling me to, hey, go mine this over here because you found something, which is basically what I was talking about. So construction ship, you require 90 minerals to get a mining station up and running. We have 130, so that's going to work out. You will come over here and start working on that. And then we have the Lurchie's Nest over here. Nothing found on that one. Habitable? Nope. Zero percent. Really terrible. And you can actually zoom in on this guy over here building the mining station, which is actually really neat. Yeah. Get to work, boys! Get to work! Tile blockers. Yeah, we talked about those. Those are the ones in the... Essentially, the ones that we spotted down over here in our surface tiles, which we have to unlock over time. Speaking of which, let me pause momentarily here. We have, as you can see, one of our populations growing in. So right now he's kind of like an infant. So he will the grow up to 9 of 40, or 9 of 40. Once he hits 40, we'll have a fully functional falcon to produce some sort of other job for us here, as you can see. Um, however, I'm not sure what we're going to build over here. I guess we might as well build something that will kind of take care of, the, take care of this, because this right here is a two land of energy credits. So I guess we'll probably end up building ourselves a... I can build it now. A power plant, which will be three. Ooh. So two and three, five. That's a really good surplus right there. Let's get that up and running. All right. And those will be queued up over time. So even if you don't have the resources needed for it, over time they will obviously you know be built once you actually get them up and running. Right now I'm not finding I'm not finding much minerals though in our little system. So we're gonna have to probably start going out to another system pretty soon to try to find them. So at the moment we have what is this one? Torrell. Let's find out what's happening in Torrell here. We have a. Uh, Torrell. Intel is low on this area here. Now, what that means to us, if I'm right, is if we come and just zoom on out into the galaxy map, Torrell, it's outside of our little, um, I guess, area of knowledge from. So, ooh, is that all of them? Oh, dude, we have a really bad start. Ah. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad start, but as you can see, like, this is our little area of influence. Normally, there's a lot of more little small galaxies inside of your little area of influence, so you could actually have some intel going into them, but because everything is outside of our little radius, we now have no intel on what to expect coming into these, like, planets and whatnot. Oh, not too crazy about that. Not too crazy about that at all. Alrighty, well, yeah. That's so what happens here. Fleet order finish! YRS dive completed the construction of a mining station. Alright, cool, yeah. So you guys are now over here producing some more credits for me over time. Excellent. Construction ship is now on sleep mode because we haven't found anything else. This is a really terrible system to start off with, no lie. I'm not too crazy about this one. Like, we found absolutely nothing. No resources, nothing at all. Alrighty. How many more do you have to go through? One, two, three, eh. If we build up enough um, minerals, we could probably build a second science ship. Which is kind of what I want to do, so let's see. Let me go over my spaceport as soon as possible. Let's see. Spaceport. Actually, I guess I don't have to do that. Let's go into spaceport through here. Another science ship's gonna cost me a hundred, so we still have to wait uh, five more turns. Let's go into fastest speed over here and start speeding this up here a little bit. Okay, we found more credits. So hey, we're building up a lot of credits, but unfortunately, the bigger issue is minerals at the moment. We found nothing over here. More min, <laughs> more fucking credits, and that's about it. Beyonce system has now been completely surveyed, however. And a leader has gained a level, so um, that's going to be our scientists in the survey area. They basically gain experience by going out and surveying, while your other researchers gain experience by learning more or uncovering more research over time. So this guy's already level 2, which is great. Essentially, when you level them up, they'll be able to uncover anomalies with less risk over time. Um, well, since you are done over here, let's send you over. Unfortunately, we have to send you all the way to Torrell with no intel. So you survey that system, my friend. Good luck to you. Let's go back to our home base here. And we should be coming up with enough to uncover, or at least create another science ship, which we will. So, let's go into Yonderim Spaceport. Build. Science class ship. Cool. So we're getting built. Alright. Now let's find out if my dude is born. Ah, oh, he's almost there, 26 of 40. 
The power plant's ready to go. Now it's ready to go. And homeboy's gonna be ready pretty soon. Pretty soon indeed. Uh, Yandram has finished the surface construction queue. And then we got, yeah, construction queue. Alrighty. So that means we have two science ships now. Yeah. Up, 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 up. What, what is it now? Recruit scientists. Alright, we have to get another scientist for the actual new um, ship that we got here. So that's fine. We are up to 113 influence points again. So let's go into. Mm, oh, probably a lot easier if we do it this way. Assign leader to this new science ship over here. So we have one already on the science ship, and we have three already researching stuff. So we have to basically recruit a new scientist for us right now. We have scientist feathers of aquamarine. <laughs> These names are so great. Now let's see. Field manipulation research speed is going to be ten percent. That's not bad at all. Uh, anomaly fail risk. That's going to be. Oh, you know what? This is really good for our science, our, our survey teams. Research speed, statescraft, 10%, and it's going to be field manipulation. I like these guys a lot for our pre-existing scientists, but I really like this one for the surveying team. So let me go ahead and pick up Beak of Green. And he's going to be the new science team member of that extra ship over here. Alrighty, cool. So you know what, guys? I think we have covered just a really good start right here so far. We have 12 minerals coming in over time, which isn't really too bad. Influence looking pretty good. Credits are just amazing at the moment, because it's basically all we found here. But... Uh, we'll keep an eye out, we'll go forward with this for a bit longer and see if we can find some new alien races to mess around with, maybe even punk into, like, you know, military dictatorship, or make some nice diplomatic relations with them as well. We'll see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support us a lot. Stick around for the next episode. I will catch you next time.